that just trust trust that what you can do in this moment is the exact right amount that you can do and fully integrate at this time you know a lot of a lot of this work it's it's big work and it's it's emotional work right and so it's it can be this like yeah, feeling of this overwhelm and like, oh, I'm not, I still feel this way. So I'm not doing enough or I'm not doing it right or, or whatever. That's just the old programs running. Okay. You guys, I want you to catch that, that that's just the old programs running of this isn't going to work for me. I'm not doing it right. I'm not good enough. You know, all of those like old stories that come up. So just watch, just watch your resistance show up. Dr. Upledger, who he was the creator of craniosacral therapy and somato emotional release and he used to say um no resistance no session <laughs> no resistance no session because <laughs> why are we here if there's no resistance to work through right if if, if everything's like 100 percent fine like i don't know that we'd be living here alive on the planet like we're here for a reason and we're here to work through some of this resistance so i really want to normalize it for you guys um no resistance no session that many people choose to remain in the status quo keeping in what is painful because it's familiar rather than relief from suffering so how many of you do that just asking yourself like how much do i keep in or like staying with the status quo just because it's familiar to me and you know rather than choosing relief of my suffering because many of us like you know what's familiar to us is drama what's familiar to us is fight or flight what's familiar to us is hyper vigilance and so it's like really reaching for this higher part of yourself to um, recognize like the old programs and the old stories so that you can choose consciously choose something different um somebody wrote in the in the facebook group earlier how do i do this like how do i be consistent and the only answer is that you choose it that's the only answer. No one else can do it for you. No one else can get inside your system and like do this work for you. Um, I've had the, <laughs> working with clients for a number of years that sometimes I've wished like, oh, if I could just like jump in their body and be in there for 24 hours and then give it back to them. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, that would be great, but that's just not how it works, you know? And, and we have to choose this stuff consciously and very consciously to um, override those old, pro old programs, not like, jump into the you know downward spiral or the tornado of thoughts and feelings and old beliefs that want to take us down but not identifying with those emotions so hard and like really expanding out it's like when you feel so contracted and so small can you can you expand your field can you expand your energy field can you make yourself a little bit bigger to be able to hold all of this to be able to kind of show yourself that you have the capacity to hold this. You have the capacity to feel what it is you need to feel without getting swept up into all of the, you know, emotions that you used to identify so hard with of just like, I am depressed. I am anxious. I am whatever it is, you know, we, we connect so hard to the emotion themselves. And then we say, I am that emotion. And, um, and then, it's a downward spiral from there, right? Because that's not true. You're not the emotion itself. You're the sky, like the clouds are the emotions. The emotions are going to pass just like clouds in the sky and the sky, you know, the blue sky is going to remain. And so you are the one that remains. You're the one that's above it all. You're the one that's more expansive to be able to hold everything it is that you feel. And, and, you know, it's, it can be really intense. And <laughs> I, I know, like, I know how intense it can be. And, um, and that's why I'm here. Like, it's sort of like I want you to use me as a model a little bit of like somebody that's been through a lot of emotional intensity, high levels of emotional intensity. And, you know, like waking up with like I've shared like 10 out of 10 rage or heart anxiety or whatever it is. And like just like taking myself because I've been in this world for so long, taking myself through, you know, my practices and the tools and the spiritual work and the rituals that I do to move myself through it. And so I feel like in some ways, I'm like a living example that this is, this is doable. Trust me, it's doable. If um, even if you think it's even even when it feels really hard, even when it feels overwhelming, even when you feel tired, just like give yourself so much grace that I, I'm going to rest whenever I need to rest, and I'm going to take a nap whenever I need to take a nap, and I'm going to just go lay face down on the earth whenever I need to do that. You know, um, and just and just allow yourself to to be in that tiredness. And because when you're in that tiredness, you're, you're already in process. You're already processing it. Things are already changing. You're just giving your body, your body and your energy field time to catch up. Remember the body is the slowest. It's the densest of all the energy, right? Of matter. Like we are actually like fully vibrational beings. Like we're a hundred percent energy, like at, you know, at the, 
subatomic level, we are 99.999999% energy. And so um, the body, and I've experienced this so much over my life where I feel like energetically and emotionally, I'm like really progressed and I've got myself to this place. I've done all this work. And then it takes my body some time, sometimes months, you know, like to catch up to the spiritual work I've done, you know, or the, the energetic, emotional work that I've done. And so I just want to remind you guys that of just the, it takes time for the body and it, and it, and, it, and it's, and it's like this re, total recalibration, you know, and, and change of your physiology and just give yourself a lot of grace in this process. Okay.